Alright. Alright guys. I got a little more to talk about here uh, with the Evolve Carbon GT. I posted a video a couple weeks ago, I guess, or whatever it was, uh, talking about the truck that broke. Now, I've been inspecting the board very carefully. I replaced uh, a couple motors. I got two brand new motors. I used the Race Star motors. I put some 90 millimeter uh, generic black wheels on it. Um, I replaced the base plate with a gold wing base plate. Uh, so anyway, I had a little clicking noise. So I, I decided to take apart the one wheel and try to figure out what it was. Here it ended up being the gear. This gear here, the set screw was loose. So every time it turned and landed in a certain spot, it made a clicking sound. I thought it was the bearing at first. So anyway, upon further inspection, Now I've seen videos of all sorts of other boards that broke right here in the same spot. As a matter of fact, I saw a video of a guy who had two. Me and him talked a little bit and I was blown away. I was like, wow. You see it? Starts here. And goes all the way down. So... The cracks aren't that big. It's actually not really affecting anything. But 100% without a doubt, that's cracked. All the way down. See that? And that's not from it being in an accident. It's not from hitting it on anything. That's because this carbon fiber here, this carbon fiber board was produced and molded in probably the cheapest fashion they could. What went wrong with Evolve, I believe, is when they went into mass production of these boards. The quality control was lost. I don't think this was ever their intentions to have a carbon fiber board that would have issues like this. I'm highly disappointed. I mean, oh, sorry. I'm highly disappointed to say the least. I would never expect to have to put out so much money to keep this board going. And listen, all I do is use it. I, I use it and to my expectations, what I get out of it, it's failed 100%. It just is what it is. The fact that this cracked like this, I mean, that's crazy. This, this carbon fiber resin should be way more strong. Even if it did take an impact, just say it did. It, we shouldn't have a crack like that. So this design here apparently is no good. Just like their truck design. I have a feeling that they put this board together and it didn't get the amount of testing that it really should have. Maybe they did, maybe with prototypes that were probably A1. The quality, I'm sure, is not the same. So what I've been doing lately is I've been studying carbon fiber. I made a couple carbon fiber parts in the past. Um, they come out really good. They come out really strong. Figuring out a, how would I exactly construct a carbon fiber board? And B, how do you do it properly? So, I have a feeling here that they took two shells, two laminate shells, sandwiched it between wood, and uh, called it a day. There's not enough strength here, I believe. That's the weak point because of how much 
interior string. It's got too much bend, which allows that outside to bend and therefore it cracks. I mean, all the videos I've seen on YouTube and all the pictures I've seen on Facebook and Instagram about a cracked carbon GT, they've all been in the same spot right there. Either that back corner or the front corner. Highly disappointed. That's all I can say, really, honestly. And when I saw other pictures, especially recently when that guy showed me his, which wasn't old, it was like a day old, then he got another one. And then he had another back office message in his email saying, you know, I really don't want to replace this guy's board. Same type of deal I had. I mean, doesn't Avav understand? I've never talked to Alex yet. I never called Alex back. He told me he wanted, you know, he they want to keep their customers happy. Customer service is their number one priority. And I did ask for a warranty to be upheld. They shot me down and Alex told me, you know, get, give him a call. I've been so freaking busy. I feel like it's not fair if I call him and say, well, I only got a couple minutes because he could have talked what he had to talk about in an email. But apparently he couldn't email me. I had to call him to talk about our situation. So I, I don't know what he wanted to talk about. I Maybe he was going to send me a new motor. I don't know. Maybe not. I, to keep me as a happy customer would be, A, you're going to have to replace this board, this carbon fiber board that cracked like this. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Even if it's not under warranty, just say I'm past my whatever it is, 90 days or... I would expect at least a couple years out of this before I got any signs of crackage or... This isn't a wood skateboard. Even wood skateboards hold up better than this. I mean, you guys, everybody who's a skater, if you're a skateboarder and you're watching this, if you're not a poser and you're a true skateboarder, you understand the wooden decks. You understand how they crack. It's it's just a fact of life. All right. So if you've been skating a lot, you know how much abuse you can put the board through and how you can ride. I mean, I, I used to have a couple different boards I rode. I had my street board, which I would ne that would never gotten cracked. That would be like how I ride this, riding around in the street. The boards that were cracking were the ones that, you know, we were doing rail grinds on, we were doing vert on. The vert boards, yeah, they cracked, they broke. I mean, you guys understand. You guys understand if you're a skater. I'm gonna go ahead and make this call right now. And I'm going to have to say that I can't support Evolve. I can't say that I recommend for somebody to buy this board. If the board was $1,000, maybe. Maybe. For the price it's at, I feel like they tried their hardest to crank them out the door. And they really didn't give the quality board that expected. I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this video. I already know. I already know up to this point there's going to be a lot of people that have already stopped and they're not going to complete watching this, which is fine. There's probably people who don't even watch it. They might even have something to say. That's fine. I just can't. I can't support it. I just can't. This here is the icing on the cake. It really is. I I cannot believe that the board is cracked like this. Now, seeing as though there's still a lot of structural support, I believe it's only the outside here, it's only the carbon fiber that's cracked. It's not the wood inside that's cracked all the way through, which I believe that's what's in there from the inside of the truck, the cutout, it looked like I could see it, it looked like wood. I, I'm assuming. 
So it hasn't cracked all the way through. The only thing I could think is strengthen this up, get a piece of uh, carbon fiber and some resin and run a strip along the edge there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get my carbon fiber out. I have to get some tools out, figure this out. I was kind of thinking maybe uh, re-laminating the top and then wrapping the back edges or all the corners, wrapping all the corners with the new lamination on top. Point being is I'm gonna have to do something. I already sunk a boatload of money. I think the best way to go is if you want a quality board and you really want the best, um, it's not out there yet. That this is what you have to settle for, and and if you're and if you're not going to be riding that much, I mean, really, if you got the money, spend the money, get the board. It it it's better than most, but the quality just is not there for the. It's just I can't say it is. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't support a Bob like that right now. I just can't. I want to, I want to, but uh, I have to be honest and I have to be truthful. And this is one of the reasons why I don't work paid deals with, uh, with manufacturers. I, I purchase the products that I review, I purchase the products that I talk about. I, I, there's, when I talk to the, the manufacturer, sometimes there's misinterpretation about what I'm looking for and I'm trying to get from them. But I always make it my point to let them know that I pay. I want to be a paying customer. Because it makes a whole world of a difference. It really does. This isn't me crying and complaining. I'm not really complaining. I'm upset because it didn't meet my expectations. That's all. Alright guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I'll figure out what I'm going to do and I'll get back to you guys. Have a good one. Peace.